likely the greatest knockdown, drag out fight in history is the 49 round classic at Cirque de Paris of all places. That Saturday, April 17, 1909, La Parisiens bore witness to Joe Jeanette squaring up against Sam McVie with the World Colored Heavyweight Championship on the line in a fight to the finish. A fight to the finish for the uninitiated, unlimited rounds rounds are fought until one combatant is literally knocked out, or one or neither can make the scratch line in traditional bare knucks vernacular terminology, such conditions used to be implicit in every fight of note, but by the 20th century had begun to die out. In modern Queensbury gloved boxing context as this fight was contested, the scratch line in the middle of the ring is replaced by the bell for the next round, by today's third millennium boxing division weight standards, both would be in the cruiserweight division with Joe at a somewhat puny 185 pounds, and Sam at a robust 201 pounds where he'd have to eat a smaller breakfast to make the 200 pounds weight, no biggie. The purse was 30,000 French francs that translated to 6,000 American dollars back then, a significant windfall for the fighters to split as per contract, but as always the winner seizes the lion's share to be clear, an assumed 70-30 split I'd assume. This was the third fight between the two with each holding a victory over the other. The last one had been in February, 20th, 1909. Also at Cirque de Paris for the Jack Johnson vacated coloured title relinquished after he beat Tommy Burns in Australia for the world title December 26, 1908, McVeigh had knocked down Jeanette 3x before coasting to a 20-round decision in that second fight, but now the bar had been raised with a fight to the finish as well as the purses after Parisians had their appetites whetted with their first coloured heavyweight title bout held in France, yeah. The referee, Emile Maitrot, seems to have not had many recorded fights in his ledger, perhaps the reason for the general mayhem of confusion in the press reports and of fight fans in attendance. Keep in mind this was barely more than 25 years after wide acceptance of Queensbury gloved rules over bare knucks, so rules were still evolving then even as they still evolve today, or sometimes do evolve as happens when misanthropic oversight is the rule. Both the Encyclopedia of Boxing's Gilbert Todd and an illustrated history of boxing's Nat Fleischer seemingly recorded the same 38 knockdowns in the 48 rounds completed, of which Sam won the first 27 rounds with Jeanette sweeping the last 11 rounds with the middle rounds being a heavily fought Donny Brook by presumption given there is no official record of the scoring, but also understand that the 49th round was never actually fought. Instead Sam, who fought so hard and so magnificently after an eye injury early in the fight, answered the bell for the 49th round to weakly plod forward to the flickering, shadowy figure of Jeanette through his mangled eyesight to seed victory. While multitudes of primary media sources written immediately after the bout in French and American newspapers all lauded the epic quality of their fight that was without question, the press also claimed a cacophony of conflicting numbers of knockdowns ranging from a few to a lot. I gather the massive rush of adrenal excitement over such witnessed ring brutality short-circuited the media logic centers and those of the peoples that scrambled their collective recollections. All accounts of the event recall Jeanette being sprawled on the canvas numerous times early in the fight, up to five times in the 19th round alone, and each report marveled at his ability to endure punishment, recuperate, and then come back fighting. As for McVie, the number of knockdowns aside including his own, it is also without dispute that he suffered a severe eye injury early in the match. By the time he gave up after after the 49th round rang out, both eyes were closed and his face was otherwise being hammered a mangled mess by the sharp shooting Jeanette. Down goes Jeanette. Down goes Jeanette. Here we, ahem, cue in the paired monkeys with the liberal use of oxygen administered to the fighters as the rounds progressed allowed them to survive. Jeanette also benefited from legally being saved by the bell multiple times in the first two-slash-three odds of the fight. 
to wit, by virtue of oxygen pumped into them by their seconds, Jeanette and McVeigh reeled and staggered through 48 rounds of a brutal and plucky fight here tonight. At the opening of the 49th round McVeigh, his face utterly dehumanized save for an expression of helpless agony that distorted what remained of his features, signified that he was unable to continue, whereupon the referee declared Jeanette the winner. Ah, now them were the days when men were still men and fighters were still fighters, and fighters dominated the highest boxing echelons, not boxers. Sadly less so today, but better regulation was definitely needed for both the fighters' health and boxing's health as all of humanity lurched to our 21st century saddled with the baggage of millenniums of history still defining mankind's unceasing predilection to catastrophic war and revolutionary upheavals, all liberally leavened with the regressions of the scourges of depressions that economist twiz kids coyly remind us are really just recessions. Let's block ads. Why?